So welcome to the new version of the TDUK Double Tool. In this new version, we have even more processes that can be disabled on your Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube to really maximize your free memory, but also to minimize your CPU utilization because the less things you have running in the background, the faster your device will perform. And of course, the more free memory that your device has, that's one of the key things that helps reduce buffering. So in this video today, let me show you all of the new features of the Diblo tool including the annotation. So here we can see these three processes have a small note next to them. So you know the exact implications of disabling these three processes. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So let's now open that up. So the very first time you open up the application, you will get asked to make an ADB connection. So all you need to do is click on this and then click on OK. Now, if you don't see that prompt, as always, all you need to do is just go over to your settings, MiFi TV, go to ADB debugging, and then just turn that off for a couple of seconds. Once you've done that, you can then turn it back on and then come back into this application and you should then see that prompt. Once you've clicked on that, let's click on OK. And as long as you see that connected prompt, we are now good to go. So the very first thing that the toolbox does is to scan your system and tell you which processes are already disabled. So on my device, we can see we have three things disabled. And as we can see with that note, that means on my device, Prime Video should not be working. So let's just press the home key. Let's go to Prime Video. Let's click on resume and let's see what happens. Okay, nothing really happens there. Let's try that again. Okay, let's see if that wakes up. And we can see that's not working. So let's just do one last test. Let's try something else. Click on watch. Give that a second. And we can see on my device, Prime Video is just not going to work anymore because we have those three things disabled. And that's really the whole point of the Diblote Toolbox, whereby if you're not using these services or these applications, why are those processes for those applications running in the background? So with the Diblote Toolbox, we can disable those processes and get back that valuable CPU and memory utilization. Let's back out of that. Let's go back to the Toolbox. Let's scroll down. Now this is one of the key ones because I know lots of you actually purchase Fire Sticks. You then install all of the applications for your customers. You then deregister the device and then send them on. Now the trouble is if this particular process is disabled, then when your customer or your friend or your colleague, when they receive your device, their device won't be able to find any wireless networks. And that issue only appears at the initial registration process. So on my device, I can, for example, disable this process. And as long as I don't unregister my device, it's not gonna cause me any issues. But again, for your particular use case, where you're going to be setting up a device, then unregistering it, make sure you don't disable this process. Okay, let's keep going down. And then we have this one here. So in a previous video where I showed you how you can use the advanced download manager to save content from all of your favorite third party applications onto a USB drive. Now in that video, somebody contacted me to let me know that if this process is disabled, then your device is not going to be able to see that external USB drive for ADM. So again, if you are going to use that application, make sure you don't disable this process. And that really is one of the great things about this toolbox and the way it's designed that you can pretty much go ahead and just disable everything, then enjoy all of that free memory, enjoy better performance on your Fire Stick. But then if you notice that something is not working properly, you can just come back in here, untick a few things and away you go. So nothing that you do in this toolbox makes a permanent change. So anything that you disable can always be enabled once again. Let's scroll down and here we see the three processes which are for the Amazon system update. So if you don't want your device to get any more updates, so no more changes from Amazon, no more than pushing extra applications onto your device, you can just disable these three services. And as I mentioned before, disabling these three processes does not break your normal applications from updating. So any application that you've installed from the Amazon App Store can be still updated in the normal way. Let's scroll down. So all in all, we have about 50 new processes, guys. So 
just to show you that I can disable all of these without causing any real damage or any real issue on my device, I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to click on this icon here, which looks like a box. And that basically means select everything. And if you click it again, it will then deselect everything. But in this example, I'm going to disable everything. So let's click on that. Everything is now highlighted. I can now click on play. And this will then go ahead and run those ADB commands and disable all of those processes on my device. And, and as I've mentioned before, the less things you have running in the background, the more free memory you'll have on your device. And typically the more free memory that you have, the less chance that your device is going to get buffering. And of course, just having less things running means that your device should also perform better. Okay, that's now all done. I can back out of that. Let me press the back button again. Let's now go into the toolbox just to show you that when it does a scan now, we can see it's now ticking everything. So it's basically confirming that all of those processes are now disabled on your device. So let's now do that all important restart. So just hold the play and the select buttons down for six seconds. Let's do that now. So five, four, three, Okay, we get that message there. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. Okay, so device is restarted, no major issues. I can now, for example, go to the developer tools menu, and let's see how much free memory we have. So you can say we have about 415, 418 megs of free memory. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but when your device only has 1.5 gigs to start with, it really does make a difference, guys. Okay, we can see that's still pushing up a bit. Okay, let's back out of that. So perfect example, you've disabled everything, and all of a sudden now you notice that Prime Video is not working anymore. How do we get it back? Well, very easily, we go back into the application, let that scan your processes, everything is disabled, now we can find all of the applications listed with Prime Video. So we have one, two, three, and there was one more further down here. Here it is. So I've now deselected four processes. I can go to the top, click on the play button to apply the change. That should then enable those four processes. That's now done. I can now back out of this. And I can now try Prime Video again. Let's click on play. And let's see if that works. First time with those processes enabled and we can see that's working absolutely fine on our device. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do wanna give a special thanks to uh, Mr. French. He's one of my regular viewers and he provided great insight on which processes he's disabled on his device for many, many weeks. So many thanks to him for sharing his experience. And for the rest of you guys, if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, if you have suggestions for the Develop Tool V4, then do leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.